Hello everyone, my name is Lila from the Edison Public Library and today I'm going to be showing you a quick and super, super simple craft uh, that you can really turn into anything once you're done with it. Uh, so today we are going to be making felt clovers. Uh, so in honor of St. Patrick's Day, I thought this might be a fun little thing. So once it's all done, you can really turn it into anything. If you like, you can turn it into like a little pin by gluing a little pin back to it. Uh, you can hang it up as garland if you make enough of them. But again, the possibilities are endless once you have this simple part done. So let's get into it. Now for this craft, you're only going to need a very few things. Uh, so first off, a pair of scissors, some green felt, and a needle, and some string. Again, this is super easy. Just a few items, so let's get into it. Now the very first thing you're going to want to do with this craft is we're gonna cut, off, cut out a couple of parts. Now I know that's not the right uh, holiday, but for this, it's gonna make some very nice clover. So we are just going to make a little heart shape into our green felt. Now the heart does not need to be super deep. Uh, it just needs to be, make some obvious leaves. So for instance, my heart's not looking very much like a heart right now, but that's okay. So we're just going to fix that up just a tiny bit. Make my heart a little deeper. There we go. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you think it looks nice. That's all that matters. So once we have our almost heart shape cut out, uh, we're just gonna make a few more of those. So of course, four leaf clover, we're gonna need four. Lucky for us, I already have a couple of them already cut out. So once you have all of those cut out, you are just gonna take your needle and thread. So what you're gonna do is, you are going to, to take the bottom of your heart, put your needle in, through the bottom, if you can see there, and out the other side. Now this is just gonna fold over the leaves a little bit. And you can see once you have that folded over, uh, it kind of gives it a leaf effect. And we're just gonna do the same thing with the other ones and just make sure it's nice and tight. If you wanna do it double, you can. I might just because my thread is not cooperating right now. And then just keep going with your other clovers just to make sure that they attach to each other. So now I'm just going to go onto this one, go in and out, pull it all through, and just go in and out again. And there we go. So you can see once they start attaching to each other, it starts making a very nice shape. And again, I'm just going to keep going. Okay, so now that you have it all pulled together, just like that, you can see you have a lovely four leaf clover. And now we just want to make sure that everything is attached at the bottom. So we're just going to go in and out through each of the bottom of the leaves. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing there. Let's see, let's get that string out of the way. So you can see that it's all folded over at the bottom here. So you are just gonna go in the bottom of one leaf, pull that through, and then go through the bottom of another. See like that just to make sure everything is nice and tight together. And there we go. Once you think you're all done, just knot it off at the bottom. And to knot it off, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna 
gonna take your needle, put it through the center. Make yourself a little loop. Just go through the loop, just like that. And from there, you can just start cutting off the little strings. So for instance, the string that we had at the start here, I'm gonna trim that, trim off our needle. And there you have a lovely little four leaf clover. And there we go. Now, if you wanna keep going with this, uh, you could turn this into a lovely little garland with just a little bit of twine, um, or you could just make as many as you like and hide them around your house, just for an extra bit of luck. We hope you like this craft and we hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye now.